Hello and welcome. I hope you are doing awesome and let us start today's episode of Ask Raghav. This episode is sponsored by Linode. Linode provides you the complete cloud infrastructure and set of tools to develop, deploy and scale your modern applications faster and easier using the Linode's Linux virtual machines. You can get all the tools and services for your computing, storage, networking, monitoring, etc. You can sign up at linode.com forward slash automation and get a $100 60-day credit on your new Linode account. The link is in the description. And today I am going to take up a question asked by Sai and he says, Hello Raghav. Thank you for such a great answer. This is very helpful. So Sai is writing this in response to the earlier episode of Ask Raghav. And then the question is, can you please suggest or cover in your next video that which job profile is better for QA? If I want to switch my current profile from QA to BA or anything else, please suggest which profile will be good in future. So Sai, thank you for asking this question and I hope this question will help a lot of people. What are the career paths of QA and what you can become after QA? So if you are into QA, you can grow into technical QA or managerial QA. So for example, when we start in QA, we start as an intern, then we become a software tester, senior software tester, and then we can become a module lead, a team lead, and then go into managerial roles. Now here, if you want to remain technical, you can continue in the QA technical role and keep on growing there where you will be more closely working with the tools, with the platforms, with the application. And then there are the there is the managerial path where after becoming a team lead you become manager and here you are mostly dealing with people and resources and i have seen some people are very good at it and they really like the managerial path and some people want to remain more into technical so both of these are good options now apart from that you have talked about ba so ba is business analyst and as a business analyst you will be working both with the client and the internal teams you will be brainstorming and uh, help find solution to the business problems at a product level at a project level you will be writing your stories and acceptance criteria and some people become very good business analyst after a QA role so that is a good option if you think you can do that and you are good at it you can always check that the other similar thing that you can do is become a QA consultant so if you have a good experience in QA with some particular platform or some particular tools and domain you can always help other teams and organizations setting up the QA process and you can become a QA consultant the other option is doing freelancing if you want to do something of your own after getting some experience and you believe that you can now start something on your own you can always look at freelancing options and then if you keep, if you want to be in QA technical and keep on continuing growing there are a lot of other platforms for example you have UI automation API automation mobile desktop performance security uh, databases and so much so you can keep on learning you can keep on growing and adding skills for QA into your profile of course Automation testing is also a very good option. If you are doing mostly functional testing, you can start learning automation. So that is again a very, very good career option. So we have so many and all these options for QA and I hope this will give you a lot of confidence and positivities. So I don't think there is uh, there is anything to worry about. You can select what role you fit more into, what is your interest and keep on growing there. If you want your question to be featured in the next episode of Ask Raghav, you can write your question in the comment below and I hope you will take very good care of yourself and I will see you in the next episode. Never stop learning.